guys, so it's been about a year since I started testosterone. Actually, it's been like a year and a month, but I thought that I would do this video and have photos like I just showed you going through before testosterone, before even I started transitioning, during testosterone, and now. And there is a big difference. Some of it I know is because I gained weight, but you can see a lot of differences. My shoulders got broader, the weight that I did gain gained in different spots than it used to gain. My weight has fluctuated a lot, and in the past when I've gained weight, it was more in my hips, and now it's more in my stomach, which I guess looks more masculine because then I don't have big hips. And my, ch my chin has gotten broader, and my jaw has gotten a little wider looking, and my voice obviously has gotten deeper. Um, if you go back and watch my first video, that was pre-testosterone, and my voice is way higher. So, go back and watch that if you want to see that part. Um, I might put some of the video in here, because it's a huge difference. I do identify as transgender, and that I do want to make some transitions, and thinking of starting testosterone, and getting surgery, and things like that. And... Also, there's other changes that happen along with testosterone, so I thought I would go ahead and go through those. Some people, the one thing that some people think is a problem with testosterone is that it can cause anger. Um, I haven't noticed that. I have noticed that sometimes my patience is shorter, but not anger. And I think part of that is kind of like hormones, because what happens is the longer I've gone without testosterone, the shorter my patience is. And it's because my body is short on testosterone and it's time for me to have my new shot of testosterone. And I think it's a lot like going through cycles, like a menstrual cycle. Because when you're, when you have all those hormones happening during your menstrual cycle, your patience gets a little bit shorter. And I think that's the same way it happens with me, except for that cycle is weekly instead of monthly. And so I just have to notice, because Fridays are when I do my shot, so Thursdays and Fridays I have to be really careful until I take my shot because I want to make sure that I don't snap at people and that I don't act out in ways that don't represent who I want to be. But a lot of the times it's not ever, it's well, all the time, it's never out of anger. I'm not really an angry type of person. So I haven't noticed a rise in anger, just a less patience, I guess. But I would say that when I did have a menstrual cycle, my patience level was about the same. So like I said, I think it's just the cycle. So speaking of menstrual cycles, my menstrual cycle stopped probably about three months after I started testosterone. And you do have to be really careful because I had one week where I think I missed a week and my menstrual cycle did come back. So it can come back if you stop for long enough. So be careful if you don't want to be triggered by that. Be careful to always take your testosterone on time. Also take your testosterone on time because I missed three weeks once because my prescription wouldn't refill and I was just having regular meltdowns. Like it was terrible because my body didn't have hormones. So my body was very confused. Another thing is my hair. I got a lot of facial hair. You can't say right now because I'm shaved. But I have a lot that comes in right here, and I'm getting a little bit over here. My sideburns are longer, um, but my body hair has actually grown a lot more than my facial hair. My stomach is like super, super hairy, and my leg hair is thicker, my armpit hair is thicker, everywhere is thicker. And people do say that testosterone can make you bald. Um, I haven't experienced that yet, I've only been a year in. And not all people do bald from testosterone, but that is one thing that you would have to consider, like, if that matters to you. It didn't really matter to me. Like, I would much prefer to have all the benefits, but that is one thing you have to consider. Another thing is it changes muscle definition. Like, I didn't really work out very much after I started testosterone. I used to work out a lot, but I wasn't at the point I started testosterone. And I still was stronger than I was before because it's easier to gain muscle. So like the small bit of working out I did do was a lot easier and helped me gain muscle. You're not instantly stronger, it's just easier to gain muscle. So if you are on testosterone and you are working out, you're probably going to be a lot stronger than beforehand. And uh, speaking of working out, I had top surgery and I can't. So I'm actually getting weaker, but once I recover and I do start working out again, 
I will end up being stronger than I ever was before I started testosterone. Um, testosterone actually does also help with top surgery. Um, it helps with the healing and it helps with the muscle definition under and it helps with um, adjusting your curves uh, and things like that. So overall, testosterone helps, but you don't need testosterone to start top surgery. Sometimes they do require it depending on where you live. Um, that's something you would just have to look up for yourself. Uh, some things that aren't beneficial with testosterone are you have to give yourself a shot every week. Um, some people do like a gel that you have to rub on or some people do like a patch that you put on every day. Um, all of them have their problems. I didn't want to do something daily and the gel can rub off on your partner or on people that you have contact with. So I didn't want to bother with that. Um, so I just went ahead and did the shot. Uh, I don't really mind a shot. I, to me more, I don't like the time it takes because it does take only like 10 minutes, but for some reason that bothers me. I'm okay with the pain. I have had a couple moments. I had one time where I did the shot incorrectly and I hit a vein and I had blood squirting out, but that's very rare. But if you do have a problem with blood, I would recommend doing one of the other ways to get testosterone. And you can always talk to your doctor and they can give you ideas for what would be best for you. That is another thing that's not a benefit. You go to the doctors a lot. Uh, you have to go to the doctor several times before you start testosterone, and then after you start testosterone, you have several checkups, and then you have to have yearly checkups or they won't give it to you anymore. So the cost does come into that, and then the cost in general, testosterone costs money. So it is kind of a privileged thing to be able to have testosterone, and I'm really grateful that I have medical insurance and that I can afford to pay the copay. And so I think people who do have testosterone need to recognize that it is a form of privilege, especially also having top surgery. There's a lot of people that can't afford to physically transition, and they just transition in the ways they look and act and things like that. Um, in general, I am really happy that I took testosterone, that I'm on testosterone. It's made a huge difference in my life. Um, the small few things that aren't benefits really don't even close to outweigh the benefits and so I would definitely recommend testosterone if you can afford it and if you're in that place um, I would recommend talking to your doctor doing some research yourself but in my opinion testosterone has been amazing has really helped my mental health I feel a lot better about my gender and who I am and so I've just been really happy with testosterone uh, so I think that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, my social media are down in the description if you want to see other pictures of me or other information about being trans or mental health or things like that. I talk about those a lot on all of my social media. And go ahead and subscribe, like this video if you want to see more videos like this. And yeah, I think that's it. Okay, love you guys. Bye.